What's up? It's Spock. I'm here with the crew. What up? Got Come Mary, here. got Dino, got his son, Mr. Pebbles. <laughs> what the? Basically, the Central Coast. We're here for the Cruising Nationals this weekend, and um, today is Thursday, uh, May 25th. And we usually get here a day early because we go to our buddy's shop. It's a sign shop right on the beach in Oceano. Yes. 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 And um, it's dope. They have a big bash for all the pinstripers and sign painters. And we hang out, eat food. You guys might have seen it last year if you saw our video for the Cruising Nationals. Well, we're here again. We're here to do it again. And we're gonna have a bunch of fun. This year, our buddies, Mr. Wim and Joe G came with us. So it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. So hang, hang in there, hold on to your chonies, and uh, let's see what happens. What's up? Damn, look at the, look at him. What a Lorenzo. What a Lorenzo. Another one. There's another one creeping. Another one in the wild. Watch him in his element. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Cranky. Oh, snap. Look at that. Man, that's a nice sign. It's missing the neon, but. Man, if you throw the neon on there and leave it looking aged like that, cut yourself a nice little sign. Damn, check out the the sign truck. Let's go check it out. Oh my God, look at that. What a shop truck. A little C10, what is this? Man. Super nice. C10 Club, Central Coast, perfect plumbing solutions. Nice, all hand painted. That's some good work there. Mr. AC Vintage. I'll show you his, his signature over here. Look at that. Go give him a follow, check it out. Here's another old sign, little ghost sign, but 3D carved. Looks cool. Look at that hand painted lettering again. It looks, you could tell it used to be beveled, but the sun kind of ate it up. Here's the other piece to that Paso Robles, the neon. Look at that. Paso Robles. Oh no, Paso. Paso, Paso. And then Robles is on the other side, the one I just showed you guys. Look at that. Paso Robles in. Super dope. Nice. Also, this is to their, to Sean's old truck. He kept the door, but that's the old sign he had on there. Look at that. Super cool. Love it. I just love it out here. In case you don't know, Southpaw Signs used to be out in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. <clears throat> Sean ended up moving out here to, uh, or he actually came out to visit to, so he can uh, do some surfing. Met his lady out here and ended up moving out here, starting a sign shop out here. and. It's right on the beach. It's badass. 
Let's go sneak up on everybody, see see what everybody's doing. <laughs> so much for sneaking in. <laughs> What's happening? How you doing? Good, how about you guys? You made it, huh? Yeah, man. Every, every year, you know. I'm so glad you're here. It's nice that he came too. What's like my show? This is my buddy Marshall. Look at that. <laughs> Uh oh, look at this guy over here too. <laughs> uh oh. How you doing, Say hi. How you doing, guys? What's up? I'm glad you made it. Yeah, yeah. Good. Me too. Definitely. Uh, hassle -free. On camera? Yes. Yeah, just a little. I like to document things, you know. Uh, 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 you want to uh, get, get some video. Uh, <laughs> smells a little alcoholy. Mm. That's like. Uh, yep. You probably don't drink. Sorry. <laughs> Spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> you drink a little bit, yeah. I do, and not too much, but you don't, this no, weekend, I, I yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up, Sean? Uh -oh. Uh, -oh. uh oh, uh oh, the man, the myth, the legend. How you doing, man? Mr. Oh, Sean, South Pole. <laughs> oh shit! Lynn! There's a little bit of a soul. The mirror guy. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. How you doing? We're doing good, brother. Nice. Yeah. Good. 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 We in for the wine tent tomorrow night? The what? The wine place. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is that what it's called? Wine tent? Whatever the yeah. cellar down Downstairs. down below. <laughs> yeah. I know. It's so crazy that we're the only ones that go down there. Yeah. We have the whole place to ourselves all night. Yeah. Yep. I love it. You'll see that tomorrow. What's happening? Hi, baby. Hey, hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. Ready for this week? Yes. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> same, same. I'm gonna go and record. Oh my God, this guy. That's my wife. Oh, this guy right here. Oh, is it the pile driver? I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the. What is that one? Uh, you know the fucking thing. Oh, looks like the raise the roof. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. What's up, brother? This is Mr. Wim right here. The infamous Mr. Wim. The guy that calls everybody out. <laughs> so be careful what you say. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Yeah. And if the truth hurts, think about it. Yeah? Uh -oh. He ain't lying. He ain't lying. Hell yeah, man. I'm glad you made it out, brother. Go ahead. Yeah. He hasn't been out here for a minute. I think I want to say it's nine years. Nine years already? No. No, because no, you were here uh, the first year I came out here, which was seven years ago. So it had to be seven years ago. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Well, I've been with my wife for six years, so it was just before that. So yeah, yeah it's been about seven years. Seven years. So now I'm back. You Great guys are in for some crazy yeah, stuff. Flavor. This guy right here, another graffiti writer that turned sign painter, turned pinstriper. So check it out. You're gonna see some cool stuff this weekend. Hey Sean, yeah. I missed the first part. Can we do it all again? Yeah, I'll be, just paint it out. Grab right, some black. We'll knock this out you again. Got, you got some mineral spirit? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just wipe it out. <laughs> Look at that. Some freehand. Some brighter colors. Yeah, there you go. You know that's blue, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Someone <laughs> told me I was blue. <laughs> Just a quick little ooh. A quick little hoochah hoochah. A little quickie. A little hoochah hoochah. Okay. Horsepower. Nice. And there's Joe. Mr. Joe. I'm gonna go up. <laughs> Sneak right into this conversation. Real quick. What's up? <laughs> uh oh. Let's go see what they're doing over here. Oh, oh, oh. What's up? Oh, oh. What's happening? How you doing? Chilling, chilling. You paint? You painting this thing? No, no, no. That's that's all. Eric. Is it fresh? No, oh, no. It's good. Nice. No, oh, is painting. it fresh? Yeah. Hold on. No pressure. No pressure. No, just a little bit of pressure on the brush. Yeah. Nobody knew his name, so we had everybody guess, and they kept saying it's just like the most Mexican names, bro. <laughs> Jose. Juan, Julio, something with a J. Oh, it is. Not. It's something with a J. Yes. Jesus. Almost. Dude, the most Mexican names and you're like the white as hell. Somebody, somebody still calls me in a different state. Somebody still calls me Edgar. 
or something like that. You do like like an edible. Oh hell no! <laughs> First off, I don't have hair. <laughs> what up, though? What up, though? I'm not sure, but uh, that's why I would love to. You're started it. <laughs> What? Is that how you spell it? I ah. hope so. <laughs> I'm way off my lines. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I'll clip it right here to the moss digger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's right. What's the deal? What's the deal with one shot? I'm serious. You got the blonde over there asking. He's in trouble. <laughs> like seriously, what's the deal? Seriously, what's the deal? No black at McLogan? How can that be? Right. Be using some special paint. I know. Yeah. It must be that alpha stuff. I heard. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was going to do that in process blue. Yeah, I was. It all I was thinking about that too. <laughs> you know, that process blue. <laughs> Isn't that what he's using? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking guy doesn't know. <laughs> You've already heard the line, eh? Bro, I was at uh, Grand Nationals when he was trying to figure out which one was the blue one. Oh. <laughs> See, he's really fucked up because he's colorblind and he's left-handed. I know, it's a <laughs> losing battle. <laughs> yeah. That chamois looks real nice. Yep. <laughs> Go ahead, rub it in, assholes. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Wipe it off. Let's start again. Let, let's change the color. Yeah. yeah. Process blue. Yeah. <laughs> well, we should do a drop shadow of process blue. Yeah, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's fucking all of it. This is pretty cool. A little neon sign, hand painted. Oh, that's the back of it. Man, look, check out this little setup. That's 
basically like a, a rough draft of a mural they painted at the Dales. That's the rough draft. Crazy enough. If you go on uh, on YouTube and you type in um, what is it called? Uh, uh, Wild Dogs Mural 2023. They all flew out and painted a bunch of murals. This was the one they painted here. South Paul took care of that, but this is the the mock-up basically, and it's all hand painted. I think it's amazing. One thing I really love about Southpaw is that every Tuesday night they open it up. They let people come in and practice, ask questions, and they actually teach you whatever you want to learn. And that allows us to have a letter. We could do a whole bunch of measuring. Usually an N on this won't have anything. Mm -hmm. And then it will have some. I've never seen that. <laughs> There's your piece of glass. All right. Let's get a. I'm gonna bring a couple. E so anyone that's working on the dive bomb, so it moves it. All we really need to do is clean up the little half size. Yeah. Thing. You got brushes here. Yeah. You got fast size. You get in there and go around it. And then we're gonna let that dry and wipe it off. I usually clean it three times. That's just, that's what I said in the book when I read the book. <laughs> that's the way I... And when it dries, mm. you can brush over it and rub it hard with cotton. It only took three tries. <laughs> and so if you, so if you want that okay to do that? So, so, absolutely. Okay. And so if you want to, if you would just want to add a couple more on there, just because right. you're doing it and you're practicing, no, you go more. ahead. You don't need it. So now what you want to do is same thing. You want to come in here, you want to get it wet along the side, and then run into it and see okay. how that makes it flow in. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Woo! Look at that. Look at that there we go. <laughs> it only took 18 tries. <laughs> So now, you want to do the brushing, I don't need to do it. So remember, you want to size up here to get size as close to the edge as you can, and then you want to go into it so you've got a little bit coming down the edge. So, so I want to go this, this way and then down? Let me show you one time. So usually what I'll do is I'll come up and go along the side. I don't want to touch the gold because you got a perfect fucking edge there. I don't know who did do this perfect gold leaf shit on that first night. And then you come into the edge and get, try and get it to go right to the edge. Like that. That's perfect. And now lay that top leaf right there. Make sure you get that. You know you miss it earlier. Yep, just get that. Lay it right down in there. That makes up what I did. That makes up what I did. Put a puff on it. To dry. Yeah. The other side. It's the right. nose. That's all right. Ah, I hit over there. All right, let's get another one in that bottom section. In any gold job, this rose easy, and it just gets harder as you go along. There ain't no way around it. This is totally normal. It'd be the same if I did it. So that's why the blowing when you get to the next row might be the easiest, right? It might help. Yep. Because it'll just bam instead of you touching it. Yep. I didn't realize the bottom were touching, but that makes more sense why you. Because you're looking all around. Yeah, you know, you're looking here, all you around. Know, you don't know that you're, you're hitched at all. Yep. Make sure we get that pressed down flat. Let me put a little more water in there for you. Give that a shot. So Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Right works. there. I want yeah. you to go yeah. right there. Yeah. All right. So one of the things we can do here, we don't need to put a whole leaf down. So the way that there's lots of ways to do it. They make. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to expose this leaf right here, and we're going to cut a little section of it off. So we'll take a half a leaf. Mm. Yep. 
This is a little, this is made for this. It's supposed to have a perfectly straight edge. You don't put it on anything else. And you put it on there, and you, you don't have to push hard. You're going to see this mark on the next 10 leaves below it. This shit is so soft. But if you just put that on there and do a little jig like that, now that'll tear straight off with... Uh, um, we could probably use this. The other thing you can do is with a clean fingernail, you can run a fingernail across the edge. And then what happens is you come in here and you should be able to put that down on there and take that one leaf off. I'm going to put a little more water in there just in case we can get it to help us. Drop that baby on there. So there's going to be things in here like this. You know, there's going to be little things like that, but we always know there's a second coat coming. Now, when you put a leaf down that's smooth, this is going to dry fast. So if you're out there on a day job, you're doing this shit, this is going to be ready fast. When we start getting wrinkles, they take longer to dry because those wrinkles are holding water in there. And uh, the wrinkles go away in the next step. And we can, I generally take a hair dryer with me. And so um, I kind of like it when I do go leaf out of the shop because I'm away from my desk and I'll, I'll piss away time. It's fine being downtown. But, uh, but if I'm in a hurry, I'll put a hair dryer on it and dry that out you know, on the next step, which we can do here since, uh, since we can. And with the hair dryer, what? It just dries faster? Right, it just dries it right away. Just, huh? Yeah, pretty quicker. Yeah. And, and we've got a bunch of heat guns just here in the shop for some wicked stuff. I always feel like those will work fast. Just, just, a hair, just a hair dryer, seems safer. It just doesn't look, look like anything. All right. Else. So what we should do while we're doing this, yeah, it's good, man. is we should do a little sample of this so you guys have a chance to use it while we have gold size. So this is traditional before these guys came out. Same thing. We have to load it up. Gonna put a little water out here. Put that guy right on there like that. Take it out. It's always nice to be going in a full motion. If you put it down and jerk this up or move it around, it's just gonna come off. So it's always nice to kind of be poised. Oops. It's always kind of nice to be poised to be able to pick it up and keep a forward motion towards our stuff. But this, you can see the crack in the middle when you get close. You put a little push on your thumb and that'll jump right to it. And this is kind of nice because you can take a leaf out and you can go like this and move it around. You can take a little tiny piece off the corner and put it right there. Um, it's hard to do full leaves with this because they're, they're, they, they leave a lot of it hanging. And that's where the Smith tip was magic. So if we take the Smith tip, Oh, because it's full hair? I'm not sure. Let's see. I think it was in a dryer. We'll give it a shot. So with the Smith thing. See you tomorrow. You bet. We'll see you tomorrow. We're here all day. What time's breakfast? I think I'm going to text him around 10, 10.30 and we'll let you guys know maybe we'll get you sneaking out early. We Sounds good. We're, we're game. We're, we're not going to work tomorrow. We're just sitting around waiting for you guys to call. <laughs> you, you know how it is. Yeah. All right. So the nice thing about these guys is they've got a, the hairs is the amount of leaf. So these guys were also kind of magical. So with these... I'm going to flood this guy out here. Take this. Put it right down on there. Pick that leaf up and go right to it. It's the same thing. And so this makes it easy to move. And it's the same thing. You can tip it. You can take a partial leaf out with it. Um, I like the corn tip. <laughs> I think the corn tip's a great one. And, uh, but these are great too. So you guys want to try these while we got them out? Sure. All right. in here.
Thank you, guys. Would you see you? Bye, guys. See you Thank you. Later. See you guys. See you tomorrow. See you all tomorrow. See ya. All right. Which one are you going to See you tomorrow. Um, you can try them both, so. Door. Oops. Oh, you can try them both. Oh, is that that nuclear? Yeah. So How many try that but one. that's not going to no, do the whole feet. leaf, right? Just fit, fit first. Okay. So you can that's see, I barely class. touched that with my knife, but you see the line in yes. there? Yes. It, it'll show up in the gold for leafs down. Um, it's okay. Out. It basically burnishes out in a real job. A way, if you don't but do uh, it right, it'll start to wrinkle you stand over here close to it. And, uh, you want to load it up with water? It's Just different. don't get any, get any <laughs> on his that's drying over here. But that's not clear, uh, buffed or nothing. That's just laying out. So like a blowtorch. You can buff it though. Yeah, you want to see that blowing all the way down. It looks like it's got some of the. Push down right on it. And now. Turn it over. Like that. So you don't want to touch that to the glass oh, just now. We've got right, water on right. all of that. Yeah. Oh shit! Okay. It touches anyway, but for the most part, what we're hoping for is when we get close, we just kind of get close and it goes on. Oh, okay. Like there's a magic thing where we're not pressing it on, but it's making the jump, just like it does off the other one. Uh, you want to try a half leaf off of this guy? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a trip, dude. Oh, so then when I went to spray it, you know, I tried to sand most of that out. You want to ride back to the course? No. Wait until the last minute. Okay, minutes. I'm going to take that. That's so mean. But, you know, I think, I think uh, there's a lot of potential with it, dude. Oh, that looks like I think, like I think it's going to be carrots. one of those things I'm going to use a lot more often. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just the time savings is... Yeah, no joke. Time is money. Two and a half, three minutes. So we're going to do this. Oh, I'm going to cut across a half. So when you put that on there, you're going to want to put it down and then do a little, like a little jig. That'll tear okay. it and take it. That didn't cut. I didn't cut it good enough. That's all right. You can still take it put it on there. It's getting away. It's getting away. It's getting away. It's getting away. This has nothing to do with the fact that you were drinking. <laughs> nothing, not, not at all. Oh, I Ooh, that's like 25 bucks. I would just shake it off and do a new one. Here. You sure? You, oh, you got it. Look at that. He's all over it. Beautiful. Just like that. Gotta commit, man. Gotta commit. Gotta yeah, commit. I'm not, I and, don't look at to quit, bro. And so that goes back to this whole thing, too, of like, you know, like I'm kind of helping you hold this, so you only got to think about one time. Right. But in an ideal world, if you were working, you'd be sitting right here. You'd have all your stuff set up. You'd have the cup hanging. You'd have that thing in your mouth or however. Right. Some guys will put a notch in here and they'll put it there and they'll do their thing and then they'll take it and stick it. But you want to be here so that when we cut this guy, and then we take this thing, and we put our water on there, everything's close. Right. And that allows us to come in right here like this, stick it, and go right to it. Like that. Yeah, that's all right. finesse. See that finesse? Yep. Bro. <laughs> all right. I'll hold that. All right. You do the rest of it. All right. There you go. Eat this. Just slice right under that. We'll put it right under that one. Search up very white. Search for Barry White. Oh, you got it. Yeah, that works. Like a pro. That's a total <laughs> form. <laughs> are, you, are you being artsy right now? That's, that's a hell of a leaf right there. That was, that's, that's abstract yeah, leaf. That, that's three points. That's He's a three-pointer. <laughs> All right, you want to try another one while we're He's got this new, giving it's, shit? He's got a new abstract leaf yeah. style, you know? So basically on that, I would say this that... This is a paid program. Yeah. Uh, I would say that we need... Uh, we need to charge that uh, tip a little bit more. So, so they give me that. Oh, on his head. Yeah, we gotta get a little bit more oil. We need a greasy motherfucker here. So now when we put this guy down there, and then we just want to be go right to it. Wet it up here. So we're gonna do a couple views. How would you? How would you get it? Actually, what I do is I put Vaseline on my. Uh, my arm here, rub it in, and then I pull oh, off of that. Okay. Did you cut it? Yeah. 
Look at that. There we go. <laughs> now we're talking. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so sometimes you'll put a leaf down and you'll have something hanging out here if there's water in there. Like sometimes you can come in and put a little puff on it and that'll flip over. <laughs> You know, and go over Daddy, to you, it. You and uh, sometimes here, like if this was our first leaf and there wasn't something here, we could come in with this guy and we could hit a little on the side and it will float it out a little bit like that and get it smooth. There's all kinds of little things, um, you know, but it, you know, you do a couple, makes you feel perfect, and then the next 10 look like this. You just got to get over it and know there's a second coat coming. Mm -hmm. So, kind of like how you put that on top of that and put down. That, that's okay. If I would have gone over it totally, then it would have washed that away. So, because it, it's kind of dry over here and it was stuck and I just went over to where the crack was, that allowed it to flow out. Okay. So, so if I, you went right here and you and you left like, maybe like a half inch gap in between here, yeah, uh -huh. is, that some, is that gap something that you're going to catch on the next one? Yeah. yeah, so like the idea is to come down here and do it and have this clean little grid around where you're going. When you come back on your second one, you want to offset that, you know, so that you're covering, you're not just putting a seam over a seam over a seam. And uh, so anyway, and it's the same thing. 90% of this we put on here gets washed off. Because all we're really doing is getting that little skinny outline on there. There's almost no place where you do the, just a whole mirror gold letter unless it's on the second story and you can look at up to it and get the reflection on it. Mm. All right, Very you cool. did that. You want to do this? Did you do the other? Did you do this already? That I did not do. All right. You got it out. Right. Same it's, thing. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it's get it going. Since Joe contaminated his mouth. Yeah, I did. <laughs> the water all over it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move over here so that we're ready. So the thing that we have is we can see how dry that is all under there. Yeah. That's why when, you know, the idea is is to flood the, flood it, mm -hmm. and then get on it, oh, bang yeah. down it. Yeah, because the way it... Yep, and uh, I'm going to run that there. And you want to go... Put that right on there. So you can puff that flat on there. Yep, then go right up to it. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. That was fun. I loved it. <clears throat> I think everybody got to learn something today. And um, I'll have the full video, literally the whole class, him teaching us how to gold leaf, how to water guild. Um, I'll have it all up eventually. But right now, I wanted to put something up. I have about two more videos that I need to put together for the Cruising Nationals. Uh, I'm, as you can tell, I'm already back in Arizona. I recorded everything now that i'm back i'm editing everything down and i'm gonna post those videos for you in the next couple days <clears throat> but i wanted to post day one you know thursday thursday was it's always my favorite day of the whole week we spend a whole week out there um basically i love it because we get to learn a lot we get to learn something new um there's a lot of questions i still had about about water gilding and he answered everything and i know everybody else enjoyed their day and and of course we got to paint with each other most of the people that are there we don't usually get to see each other but once a year maybe twice a year so it's always great when you get to see like-minded people in one place doing what we love well if you enjoyed the video hit the thumbs up subscribe and i'll have more uh, informational or just fun videos in the future i'm getting the hang of it so let's see where it goes later